us Honey, if you pay, I talk Probably at a way I floss Make you feel a tip Hey, what's up, you guys? It's O Brittany, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been forever, and I know you guys like what, but I am back. All right, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this look. So basically, we're going to be getting ready together. And um, yeah, thank you for watching, y'all, and just stay tuned. All right, so I'm going to be starting off with my NYX Studio Photogenic Concealer, and I'm just going to be using the color 00, and I'm just giving myself a base for my eyeshadow to stick to. Okay, so that's going to be my primer today. All right, so I'm going to be going into my Urban Decay Born to Run palette, and I'm going to be using that uh, light pink color. It's called Still Hot, and I'm just going to be blending that into my crease. I'm just using that as a transition color. I feel like it just gives it a softer blend than going in with that bold color you were going to use as your focus blend. I, I don't know. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. But anyways, I like to blend in like circular motions. I feel like it just gives it a softer, diffused kind of look. And yeah, I take forever blending. I just like going back and forth, you know, just making sure it's right. So I'm going to be using Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions Palette. And I'm going to be taking that pink color and I'm going to be blending that into my crease. And I'm using a fluffy brush, but um, I'm using one that's less fluffy than the last one, if that makes sense. And I'm just working back and forth. They're both really fluffy, but that one's just a little bit less fluffy. Anyways, I'm just basically doing the same thing, blending in circular motions in my crease. And I like to build my intensity. I like to, I'd rather just take a little bit of shadow at once instead of trying to like get all the pigment at once because you can build it up, but you know you can't really take it away. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna be using a more dense fluffy brush and I'm gonna be taking that hot pink into my crease and that's just to kind of give that pink some depth, just to warm it up a little bit. And as you can see, I am doing the same thing, but I am focusing it into my crease, trying to avoid it from going everywhere, if that makes sense. I'm kind of trying to keep it in the crease, okay? Going in with my NYX Midnight Chaos Palette. And I'm gonna be grabbing that purple shade. And I'm going to also add that to the crease with an even smaller fluffy brush. Now the reason I'm doing that, okay, I know you notice as the denser the brush is, the more pigment you're gonna get. So I want the most pigment like deep in the crease, you know what I'm saying? So I don't want all that color just flying everywhere. So I like to use a denser brush in the crease. Okay, so that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just kind of packing the purple in and I'm just blending it away. I hope what I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm taking this like, what is this, a concealer brush, and I'm just going to be carving out my crease with that same um, concealer I used to prime my lids earlier. Um, I like using this brush just because it helps me get a sharper edge, you know what I mean? Anyways, I am taking that purple shade that I last put in the crease and I'm packing that on the outer corners of my eye. I know you 
um, like I said, I'm doing packing motions. And that's just going to help you get the most color payoff. So now I'm going in with the hot pink that I also just had in my crease. The first color, not the red one. And I'm just kind of blending that together. I'll be moving back and forth between those two shadows to like kind of get it to look how I want it to. kind of just doing those like sweeping motions just trying to get it to blend so now I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills um what is it called loose glitter and it's called party now I didn't have any glitter adhesive so as you see I'm using eyelash glue get you some glitter adhesive okay <laughs> but I mean if you want to be like me and you don't feel like doing all that you can just use the um the, the glue you'll be fine Keep your eyes closed when you're putting this glitter on because it will get in your eye and it will burn, okay? All right, so now I'm using my NYX Crystal Liner. Is that what it's called? Yes, Crystal Body Liner in Crystal Pink. And I'm just going to basically carve my crease out and kind of do a little flick. <laughs> and then I'm also going to go in with my, um, it's the same liner, but I'm going to be using Crystal Silver. And I'm kind of just flicking it out into the pink and I'm just kind of trying to blend the glitter out in a way just so we don't really like just leave it hanging right there in the inner corner it's kind of weird so that's basically what I'm doing Alright, so I'm just going to clean up a little bit up under my eyes. And I'm going to be using the Sephora eyeliner. And I believe it's the colorful eyeliner. And it's the color number one. And so I'm just going back in with that crystal liner. And I'm just putting that in my inner corner. Now I'm using my Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm going into my NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. Right? And I am the color Cuba, which is medium three. Okay. And I'm just going to basically be dotting that all over my face. And then I'm going to just blend it in. I love this foundation so much. The other day I went to Sephora and I tried to get it and they told me they don't sell it in store anymore so I'm really upset. Alright, so now I'm going in with my NARS um, Soft Matte Concealer and I'm using the color Biscuit. I like to use like a lighter color so I can highlight my face if you were wondering. Now I'm going to be using my Airspun Loose Face Powder and I'm just going to be basically packing that on top of my concealer. Then after that I'm going to go in with a different powder but this one is going to be um, close to my skin color and it is Cover Effects Matte Setting Powder, and I'm going to be using the shade Medium. And I'm just going to be dusting that all over my face. And then with the rest of that, I'm just going to be dusting off the rest of the powder that's under my eyes. 
Now, if you're wondering why I use two different powders, I like to use a brighter one to set my concealer, and I like to use a regular powder that's closer to my skin. So, like, say if I took a picture, you would see where the powder was sitting and where the powder wasn't. So, like, I want powder all over my face, you know, but not, I don't want to be flat. So, that's how I get the dimension. But anyways, I'm going back in with that pink color, and I'm just dusting that under my waterline just to get that smoky effect and to finish off the eye look of course you don't have to do this but like for my eye shape I feel like it's best for me to do that it looks weird if I just leave it there <laughs> and yeah I also went back in with that purple and I did the same thing and I'm just blending it out kind of I'm going back in with my mascara and I'm just finishing off my bottom lashes. Going in with my Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm Highlighter, how many carrots? <laughs> I love this. I'm just popping this in my inner corners and under my brow bone. Oh, so now I'm putting my lashes on. These are the Ardell Faux Mink eyelashes in um, 811, I believe. I'm gonna put it in my description bar. So yeah, back to the highlighter. I'm just putting that on the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose. I'm just highlighting the parts of my face that I want to stand out. So that's gonna be like my cupid's bow and my cheekbones, of course. going in with a blush this is from Sephora and it is the color lovesick and I'm just going to be putting that on my nose and my cheekbone all right so I'm going into my black radiance contour palette and I'm going to be using that medium medium the, the middle shade and I'm using the palette that's light to medium um, I could use medium to dark. They literally have like the same color and yeah, that was just the one that I had near me. And I like to start contouring by, like I like to start by my ear and then working it towards the center of my face so that way I don't have too much of a harsh contour if that makes sense. And I also like to take it on the bottom of my nose, my hairline, and also my jawline just to balance everything out. So now I'm going to be putting on my Smashbox Always On Lipstick, and this is the color Throwback Jam. I love this. It stays on, like, all day. I love matte lipsticks. They're my favorite, but, like, this one literally stays on all day. It is transfer-proof, if you were wondering, because that's really important. I really hate getting my lipstick all over everything, everyone. So, yeah. But anyways, this is... Oh, I lied. Okay, now I'm going to be using my MAC Prep and Prime spray to set my face. And yes, this is the finished look, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching, y'all. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.